How's it going, YouTube? This is Sassicon X26. And King Snake XXX. We're coming to you here with our newest Minecraft video by our fellow Minecrafters of the Jesus Cannon. This Jesus Cannon blows up in water. It's called a fusion or hybrid cannon. Blows up in water up to infinity thick and up to 300 blocks away, depending on how massive you want to raid a base or grief something. So, this is the impenetrable water wall. Basic, basic, uh, three thick for a nub base. Um, very easy to get into, actually. So I'm going to go and fly over to the cannon now. As you can see, it's a pretty good distance away when I start flying over there. Jockey spider! The bird! The bird! The bird! The jockey spider! Jockey spider! You must be beacon turned. He's a fucking animal, dude. I'm just going to dig him, dig him a grave. I know what I'm gonna do. You guys ever seen that one movie? Whatever that shit's called. Uh, what is it called? Tell me what it's called right now. Anyways, back to our video. Get fucked. Get fucked. Ooh, TNT kill. Alright, anyways, back to our video. This is the Jesus can. Let me go and give you a big game. Right? Pretty compact. Uh pretty complicated difficulty level I'll give it a 9 out of 10 since it took me so long it took me like 8 days to try and build so uh, I'm gonna shoot it and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick tutorial on um, how it works talk about it a little bit um, I'll go and walk you guys through the steps uh, I did try to record this earlier it turned into a chaotic fiasco of tacos Yep, it was like a fiesta pack from Taco Bell. Tacos, I love tacos. <laughs> so, um, I've gotten this cannon to shoot 300 cannon, 300 feet, 300 blocks, effectively with its sand still intact and blew up the wall. I'm gonna be shooting 110 blocks, but I call this piece of TNT right here Jimmy, because no matter how hard I try to get that fucking redstone to get to Jimmy, Jimmy just won't go. Jimmy. So, basic mechanics. That sand's gonna morph into that TNT and fuck that wall. Basic mechanics over. Let's shoot this fucking bitch. You see all the little shit working? You saw the TNT in the sand fuse? And let's fly over and see the damage. Oh, you saw it blow up in the distance? So did I. Gonna fucking Superman our way over. Oh look, there's a hole in the wall. Oh my goodness, it's a huge gaping fiasco hole. This is the <gasps> hole where I started you in. As you can see, there was no TNT at the start, and there's a two by two hole, and you can simply walk through at the bottom of it. Now, easily blow up in water. Uh, let me go ahead and show you now the basic construction for this the basic skeleton of it and uh, I definitely suggest building it in creative before you try and go major league pro TNT Our cannon on someone's TV. ass yeah I promise it will blow up on you I promise you unless you're the fucking photographic memory so I'm gonna go ahead and just take out a piece of the barrel here so you're gonna want to start with the loading bay the loading bay is six long Six TNT long, you should be able to fit. It should be seven long, so when you break this piston, the water should not be able to flow. The water should not flow onto the piston. It should flow next, like on this block. That's where the end flow should be. So you can have a piston right here, redstone repeater touching the piston on its third setting. The only ones that are not going to be on the third setting are the charges, which actually load the TNT into the bay, which are along here. Also, you got to set those up next. You're going to have the third setting facing it. So what I mean facing is you're going to be facing the repeater, I mean the piston mistake. And you're going to want to go ahead and third setting it. And you're going to want to go ahead, I call this rat tailing the redstone. You're going to want to rat tail the redstone around like this. You want to have the repeater facing this way, third setting again. Now. In order for this fusion cannon to work, you have to light the TNT in midair, and the piston has to push the TNT into the entity of the sand. Sounds easy enough, right? So, what happens is 
when the piston goes up, it's timed perfectly with these repeaters right here to where when it goes up to this block, it ignites it on a split second and fuses the TNT and the sand together. So, you're going to want to go ahead and rat tail the redstone, do one, two, and then here you're going to want to go and build two high along this pillar. This pillar will end up going probably ten high, but for starters, go and make it six high. Make it six high along the side, two high along here, and it's going to be four, three long. Three long, but four long. The fourth one is going to be one high, and that's where the redstone is going to connect here. And you're going to want to have this elevated one off the ground. And along here, you're going to have your second high charges, and they're going to be all along here. Now, this redstone here is going to go up here, connect to those, connect down here to the piston. And here's the delay right here. So you're going to have it on the second piece right here from the charge. Second one to the left, third setting on all of them, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five of these redstone repeaters. And you're going to want to go ahead and connect it from the rat tail of this redstone repeater off to here. So you want to have it like this. And these are all facing in this direction on their third setting. This is going to go ahead and rat tail along here, and it's going to come out three, in one, and up one. And it's going to go, it's going to kind of do a little swirly up to here. And right here is the button. The button is up here on the cannon for one reason. Maximum redstone range. You can put it down lower, but you will not be able to... See, there's fucking Jimmy. He didn't shoot. Damn it, Jimmy! Fucking shit. Where's it, that fucking chicken? I was one off from being perfect. I'm never perfect. You see, there's a lot of cannons that I've tried to build. There's one, two... And there's the third. But this is the one that works. I call her Becky. She's small. She's fearsome. She blows up in water. She's masturbation. So your bottom charge, which is actually going to be the TNT in the water, is going to be here. And you're going to want to go ahead and... Right here's the piston. So you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. The same width of the loading bay. Just plug that back up. These are all in the first setting, and the redstone is simply going to just run across the back of them and up to here. So it's going to go one, two off the back, up, up, up three, and it's going to go over one to this loading stage right here. And this is where it gets tricky. On the second one is when you go like this. So after every single... I'm not going to build it, I'm just going to show you. So after each layer of charge, you're going to just put too thick of whatever building material you're using and you're going to want to put another charge set on it. So up one from this, another charge set, up one from this, another charge set. You repeat this but you start on the second level because you fart on the first level on the other side so it alternates. So this is too high off the ground so you're going to start here, up one. That would be on the third. My mistake, the fourth, the sixth, and the eighth. And I believe this is the 50th TNT, Jimmy. Lucky number 50. Fucking whore, man. So, easily one off. And it's going to have a connection like this. So, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of stare at the redstone a little bit. Make sure the redstone, it doesn't have the rat tail here. Simply because it won't work in the range. But everywhere else, try and make it rat tail the most you can. But there's a simple method of redstone connecting called staircasing, which I did here. This is called staircasing the redstone. It's where you take the blocks and you simply just alternate them up and the redstone climbs up them like a ladder almost. So as you can see, I staircased the redstone up to this layer right here. After it was right here. Staircased and staircased again. And it's staircased always like that. So you can kind of have fidget with it if you want to. Um, if you have a better way of doing it, like you want to do some crazy shit, but just make sure that this inside bay part has no holes. There can't be a hole here, or else the TNT could get stuck in there and blow the whole thing fucking sky high. It's happened to me too many times. I just said, fuck it. I'm going to do it the hard way. Because the hard way is the only way that works. Get the fuck out of here. GTFO slime. You fucking bad babies multiplied! forgot about that. You hit a slime, it has sex and multiplies. And mitosis is into four different slimes.
Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and repair the wall one more time after I've shown you how to build it. Shoot it for the last time. Bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. I shall have some epic music while I fly over to this fucking wall, I hope. As you can see, I'm repairing it just to show you hypocrites out there. And there's no TNT hooked up to this because I constantly recorded this. You can fast forward through it. I don't give a fuck. But I just have it recorded so that I can show you that it's legit. Me, King Tundra, is one of my friends. We are mainly the couple of people that know how to do these hybrid slash fusion cannons. Uh, mostly effective in raiding hardcore PvP servers. Um, make sure to rate this, comment this if you have any upgrades that I missed, any uh, suggestions to make this better. Uh, I will be very happy to have those. I will not. I will not feel downgraded in any way. So rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, make sure you. Uh, you can watch our other videos. We have a lot of tutorials coming out here pretty soon. Yep, yep. Shout out. Get Shout out to all the homies. <laughs> and my uh, mom. And my, my mom. So as you can see again, it blew open for the second time. Two by two hole. It will always blow up in a two by two hole, I promise you. There will not be one shot where it's not two by two in one area. So, King Snake is out. Yep, Sasha Connect 26 out. Later.